Welcome back, everybody. Seriously, he's just being so good, isn't he? He's such he, a good boy. He is a good boy. And he <laughs> loves his mama. Patty Spittler is with us with her new book, The Dog Who Saved My Life. And I'm glad we say the dog who saved my life instead of the dog that, that saved, saved my, my life. life. Well, we, mm -hmm. we actually we debated that a little bit. And if the dog is, has a personality and you consider mm -hmm. them um, like a human, or even better than some, uh, <laughs> then you can say who. So yeah. that's that's why we did that. I feel well, the same way. I do too. And I just want to rewind because this is something that, I mean, you and I have been talking about for a while. You've been working on this for a while. And the big question yeah, is, right. why why do this? Why put it all together? Right? Well, uh, well it, actually, this all started during the pandemic. And, you know, we're all cleaning out our basement, cleaning things up. And I found some pictures that I'd even forgotten about. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I'd take a picture and put it on Facebook. And then people would comment and say, you should write a book. Uh, Rita Rose, my friend, my assistant, and also wrote for Indianapolis Star. 43 years. Oh, there I am, Dad. Boy, we look alike. With uh, Duke was my first, and my parents loved that dog so much. And uh, Duke was my first dog that actually belonged to my parents. So anyway, Rita said, let's write a book. And I would tell her stories and then tell her which ones to take out. And, <laughs> and uh, then the book took actually about two years to put together. Wow. The, you have interviewed a murderer's row of <laughs> of celebrities, uh, and it's it, it's it's amazing when you start to go through the pages and mm -hmm. see everybody. But I love the fact, oh. and you've got little snippets, stories of everybody yeah. too, small stories of that, everybody you've interviewed. That's what we decided to do. That it would you know it keeps you moving. Yeah. Uh, that's Robin Williams. Oh, I miss him so. He was such a gentle soul, and he would make you laugh. Mm -hmm. That was for Mrs. Doubtfire. We did. Aww. So yeah, I traveled every weekend to New York or L.A. Oh, the rock. Love him. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, I knew he was going to be a big star. That was Aww. his first movie, Scorpion King, um, and Morgan Morgan, <clears throat> Morgan Freeman with that voice. Uh, very nice gentleman as well. Uh, so I did that for about 20 years, traveled back and forth every weekend, New York, L.A. Uh, Dolly Parton uh, interviewed her just a few years ago. And it's funny, she goes, oh, I want to thank you, because she remember when I interviewed her, like, Steel Magnolias or something. Thank you for helping me with my career. What? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need any help, Dolly. Yeah. But she is large and in charge. A little bit of a thing, though. Oh, there's from uh, Cats, the best thing about the movie was uh, Jennifer Hudson, and she was very, very sweet. She's been through a lot herself. Yeah, so she really So that was has. fun. Most of the times the celebrities, oh, <laughs> Kevin Costner, um, not a great picture of me. I was going to say something. <laughs> like, uh, but he's quite the charmer, too, mm -hmm. and he's still going strong. So hopefully, you know, the book gives people a chance to believe that you're, you're, you're never writing your last story. Yeah. Keep yeah. moving forward no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. And for me... Uh, the dog, my, it was Louie, my first dog that was my own dog. Yeah. Um, I went from doing something every single day to nothing mm -hmm. when I quit because of my hearing loss. So I thought, and I saw a picture of myself with my dad with my dog, I, go, I want my own dog. Yeah. I've always had cats, but cats you don't have to walk or go to the yeah. dog park. Or, right. They sleep 20 hours a day. So um, there's Duke again. So, uh, and, and pets don't judge you, uh, you know that. They, they judge you by how how do you treat them? And mm -hmm. How do you feed them? Uh, so yes, the book is available now. And oh, and I'm not taking any money from yeah. it. If we make any after paying of the printing right. fees, uh, it'll go to Humane Societies and Rescues. Mm -hmm. So you can go to uh, PetPalsTV.com or WishTV.com or because it'll be up there soon, yeah. and also Great Day TV and PetPalsTV.com and order the book. But you're this, also this very, is scary. You're really candid in this book as well. I mean, there are some real raw moments that you're being, I mean, pretty open yeah, about. Yeah. Now, chapter 12, 1997 was a rough year. Um, yeah. Divorce, death, DUI. Yeah. All within like four months. Right. It wow. was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But, and uh, when my mom passed, that was, that was really, really mm -hmm. hard. So, mm -hmm. but again, move on. Nothing's, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. You pick yourself up. It's not, what is that? It's not how many times you fall down. It's how, how many, many times, times you get back up. up. And I've been very lucky too, very blessed with things that I've had happen. And I've got and I got my Stewie and my Mabel and my Timber and, Kitty and, now. And mm -hmm. Stewie uh, is heir to Louie, who, yes. who is the dog that that saved your life. Uh, Louie, yeah. I got uh, at, yes. I uh, he he just made my life wonderful. I was with him twenty four hours seven, mm -hmm. and. Uh, 
Yes, he got me back out there. And it's funny because when I go to the dog park or something, people wouldn't say, "Aren't you Patty Smith?" They'd go, "Tell me about your dog." Yeah. It becomes about the animal, yeah. and then you you can lose yourself and put it all on them. I always talk about how I remember the dogs' names. I always forget the people's <laughs> names. Yeah, exactly. So. Those pups, <laughs> exactly. someone everybody yeah. can relate to. Okay, QR code at the top right-hand side of your screen, and that's where it'll take people to learn more about your book. Patty, so thank good you. to see you. So good Such to see you. Such a pleasure. Stewie, thank you so much. Have a happy new year. Thank and you. And you as well. Kisses.